look, bro, no fap is not finna help you. All right. Any benefits that you feel like you've been to have from it, it's not actually gonna come through. It's not actually gonna happen. You think you're gonna start levitating, you think your testosterone levels finna increase, you think you finna have some kind of magical aura that's just gonna attract more females around you and stuff like that. None of that is actually gonna happen, none of that is actually gonna work. I mean, if you really look at the science behind it, your testosterone levels not gonna raise that much, bro. And to be honest, you're gonna probably get the same amount of girls as you did before. You probably just gonna think that you get some more girls probably just because of placebo effect or whatever but at the end of the day it's not actually helping you do anything and the main reason is not necessarily because it's bs but because you're doing the same thing in other ways what do i mean by that okay sure you stop watching the hub okay sure you start watching s videos and all that type of stuff right but you still scrolling on instagram going through reels for hours and hours a day, sitting down, doing nothing. That still satisfies instant gratification. That still gets your brain addicted to something else, right? You just going from one addiction to the other. You still scroll on TikTok. You still spend time on YouTube, watch it, binge watching videos, Hulu, Netflix, HBO Max, Paramount Plus, whatever y'all using these days, Peacock, you know what I'm saying? Zeus Network, whatever, bro. It don't matter what it is. Y'all always have something else that's taking the place of whatever you stop doing, right? So unless you're just gonna completely throw away your phone, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. NoFap is not gonna help you as much as you think it is. Okay, yeah, sure. For those of y'all that are doing it specifically because you have an addiction to that specifically and you like, I wanna rewire my brain to crave, you know what I'm saying, the real thing. Okay, sure, that might help you if you do that for about 30 days or whatever the case may be. But beyond that, bro, it's not really gonna have much of a impact on you so unless you a super addict or something like that bro it's really no reason for you to really hop on no fat and i'm not sitting here encouraging you to watch the hub or nothing like that but this is what i will say instead of focusing so much on oh my streak my streak my streak instead why not just turn it into a lifestyle when i say a lifestyle that doesn't mean that you know you're just gonna go the rest of your life without doing it if you do that's great but some of y'all be so in shambles oh oh i relapsed bro i'm gonna be honest with you it ain't that big of a deal Unless you would dig, if you're not, I'm, and this might be a hot take. Maybe, you know, I guess I'm not a great self-improvement YouTuber no more. Maybe I don't care if I fell off. Maybe I fell off, whatever the fuck. But if you're not addicted to it, and you know what I'm saying? You're trying your best to stay away from it because you know you used to have an addiction to it. You know what I'm saying? And you relapse once every goddamn two or three months. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. It ain't really, you're you going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll be all right because there's always going to be the next day. There's always going to be the time after. You can always stop again. It's not that big of a deal. I'm being honest with you. And that's probably the reason why a lot of y'all keep failing. The reason why a lot of y'all probably keep failing no fap is because you make it such a big deal in your head. You you worry so much about the benefits and, oh, I'm doing this. I'm so strong. I'm, I'm God's strongest soldier. Bro, you are not God's strongest soldier just for not touching your own meat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you, you, you it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. The point is... Just because you want no fat don't mean that your life gonna get better. It don't mean you're gonna be more attractive. You still gonna suffer from the same things because you doom scrolling on Instagram and TikTok. It's not actually gonna help you. Unless you throw your phone away and you go live in the woods for years and months at a time, then you really not gonna see the big benefits and you're not gonna oh my head is so much clearer, all that all that ish is is bull. It's BS, bro. Unless you completely get away from your phone, bro. And let's be honest here. 99.999% of people watching me right now is not going to throw away your phone. You're going to go right back to binge watching whatever it is that you're going to binge watch. The point I'm trying to make is that in life, you got to pick your poisons, bro. You got to pick your poisons. Do certain things that you know for a fact aren't going to affect you too much. All right. So sure. Corn, probably not the right thing to be OD and on, whatever the case may be. But if you enjoy binge watching something, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoy scrolling through TikTok, whatever. At least do something that ain't going to harm you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get on drugs and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing crazy. Because at the end of the day, this whole self-improvement trend, whatever it is that you want to call it, is not your entire life. See, self-improvement is a part of life, but it's not your whole life. You got a bunch of YouTubers on here saying, oh, you're how to be better than 90% of men. You got to self-improve. You got to do this and this and that. And you know, oh, the masculine energy and this and this and that. Bro, I'm not going to lie. All that is bull. All that is bull. I'm 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 gonna just be straight up honest with you. See, it's a good thing to self improve. It's a good thing to you know 
work out and you know what i'm saying focus on yourself and gain confidence these are great things but understand that life is so much bigger than that if your life if your entire life is focused on self-improvement understand that that doesn't make you a good person it doesn't even make you a good man it just makes you a selfish person it makes you somebody that's <laughs> self-centered on improvement 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 it makes you somebody that doesn't actually enjoy their own life that's the conclusion that you will come to when you decide to make self-improvement the only thing that you do. And there are definitely people out there like that. I mean, if you take a look at some of these other YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? You see the cult that they done form. You see their comment section. All they do, all they care about in life is self-improvement, which, you know, things could be worse. But at the same time, bro, there's so much more out there for you, bro. It's OK to lead a house. You know what I'm saying? I under, I understand that, you know, you want to make sure that you, you know what I'm saying, on the right path and everything. You want to make money and all this type of shit, bro. I'm not discouraging you from that. I'm not trying to discourage nobody from self-improvement. What I am saying is this. There's other things out there. It's okay to go to a party every now and then. It's okay to do things in moderation. It's okay to have a drink if you of age. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have a smoke or two if you of age. You know what I'm saying? As long as that's not the only thing you're doing, because life is not about self-improvement. Life is about balance. OK, it's about balance. All right. You sitting here thinking that you got to OD on the gym. You got to do all this and you got to be this dark, mysterious. You got to have aura. You got to be about your money. You got to be. Da -da 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 -da. It's OK to not be on self-improvement grind mode 24 seven, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, a lot of you either pretend see there's two camps right you either pretend like you're this self-improvement guru god or something like that or you're lying to yourself about it oh I'm, yeah i'm on self-improvement but you're really lying bro just find a good balance that's all you have to do find a good balance bro most successful people in the world there's a balance you know what i'm saying some of y'all just ODing on all that self-improvement type shit bro i'm telling you it's not really gonna help you it's only gonna make you more stressed about your life and you think that oh being stressed is great you know what i'm saying oh being being on self-improvement makes me you know what i'm saying like like i seen a video talking about you know uh, yeah, self-improvement is going to make your life a lot harder, but you know, that makes you better than the average person. No, it won't, bro. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. This is coming and I'm being completely transparent, bro. And I've talked about this stuff in the past. Like I won't lie. I've been one of them self-improvement type dudes before, but you know, as somebody who's been through, like, think about it like this. Okay. I was a D1 athlete. I've been through the type of workouts, the type of mental strain, physical strain that I've been through is more than the average person because the average person is not a D1 athlete, right? But the point of me telling you this is not to flex. The point of me telling you this is me telling you that you going through self-improvement by not watching the hub and working out three to five days a week is really not you being at peak physical performance. You are not in the top five, top 10% of men. OK, I've been there to where I've done elite training. I've been there to where my mental has to be there elite. I, I've been to that point. I've been to that point, maybe not at the professional level, but the D1 level is very difficult to get to. And I'm telling you that because I'm telling you that the shit that you're doing, being on self-improvement is not really setting you apart from nobody. You are still about the average person. You're still around average, bro. And I'm not trying to discourage you, but I'm trying to just put things in perspective so that you understand that life is so much bigger than just Oh, I got to improve, 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 improve all the time, bro. Right. There's OK. It's OK to take a break every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But this is a conclusion that you have to come to over time. Right. Because once you get to the point where it's like all you do is just grind, 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 grind. You're going to look up and realize, damn, everything that I was uh, that I wanted to grind for. I got it, but I didn't even get a chance to be thankful or grateful for it because it passed me up. Because life is bigger than just money. Life is bigger than just muscles and an aesthetic. Life is bigger than all of that type of shit, bro. I'm being honest with you. Life is bigger than no fat. And until you start to see this, you're going to be stuck. And a lot of you will probably be like, well, Cam, you know, I don't do that. Ah, blah, 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 blah. But really, you do. Because if I ask you right now about your no fat streak, that's probably the only thing that's on your mind day and night. My no fat streak, my no fat streak, my no fat streak. Or money, right? Money, money, money. If your mind is focused on only one thing for an extended period of time, then it has control over you and you are not as free as you say you are. You are not broken uh, free from the matrix because you've just gone from one matrix to another matrix. Instead of you being in the, you being in the matrix of, oh, I'm partying and drinking all the time, you are now in the matrix of, damn, I have not made enough money. I'm not rich. So now, since I'm not rich, I'm a loser. And now mentally, you're fucked up. 
Now mentally you fucked up because, damn, I'm not rich. Damn, everybody around me is getting rich. Look at what everyone around me is doing. Damn, look at this guy in the gym. He's so much bigger than me. I have to get there. I have to get there. Not knowing that he's actually juicing. You'll never get there naturally. Damn, damn, damn. See, always striving for something bigger is not necessarily a bad thing. But when you OD on it, when that's the only thing on your mind, then mentally you get fucked up. That's really what it is, bro, at the end of the day. So I only made this video just to kind of put things in perspective, in perspective for you, bro. I don't know. What do, what do, what do y'all think, though? What do y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this is just how I am looking at things now. You know what I'm saying? Lee, like like kind of kind of seeing how the self-improvement stuff was, was moving. You know what I'm saying? I started to just come to realizations. I started to come to the realization that a lot of this self-improvement shit is pointless. It's, it's really pointless. Like, why do I need to be... Like, like, okay, for example, some of y'all are like, oh, I got to get in the gym. I got to get big muscles. I have to look, you know, like I have to look a certain way. Why? Just be healthy generally. Like, and, and to be healthy generally, you really don't have to lift that much, like a little bit. Sure. You know, you will obviously benefit from it, but you don't have to do that much. You don't have to be a certain mold or nothing like that, bro. You can live your life is what I'm trying to tell you because it's more than just self-improvement. But anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. I'm out of man. Peace.